Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A to Z series, in which we're playing with Octanius. Um, he's a fanatic, and he's got a little bit of Wild Legs influence, but uh, we're playing as the Crazy Horns in this one, as uh, we are actually starting right here at the beginning of the campaign with our organs? Origins. In the ashes of the Old World, our only salvation was each other. Now, we are a Raider Nation, but we have a slightly unique tree because it's, I think, like, the... Uh, Mormon specific or Utah specific perhaps, but in the ashes of the old world, our only salvation was each other. As the centuries passed and humanity remade itself, our people were brought together and unified by one common factor. Faith in our Lord, our God. Unity of our tribe. That is 3%. Oh, that is not... I gotta go with the unity of our tribe. The new gods. The blast wave slew the old gods and even their memory would be lost as the fallout settled. Our path. As the final aftershocks of the end settled, the path our people must walk becomes clear. And again, we want to go to war with dead horses quickly. We could probably encircle divisions, trap them, destroy them. So we want to do that. But the new gods, the blast wave, slew the old gods, and even their memory would be lost as the fallout settled. But not every memory of the past was discarded. New gods would be born from the rubble, and our people would find new purpose in their sanctification. The phoenix who burns the impure. So um, I do want to get down here because we get a research slot. Because I think we only have three. Yeah, we only have three right now, which kind of sucks. But we are using the old world blues tech expanded mod, so we do get more. Um, stuff, you know, more technology research, which is going to be great. Uh, we have Tribal Nation, huh? That kind of is overall not bad. I, I like that. What is this? able body tribes. Oh, wow. And we're at zero. Oh, that's not good. That's really not good, is it? But our path. As the final aftershocks of the end settle, the path of the people must walk becomes clear. Two roads stretch out before, one of isolation, shunning the outside world and all its horrors, the other one of great risk, facing the new world head-on and daring to stand against its evils. What path shall people walk? Inward perfection? Uh, I get a civvy, basically. Or a pathway to outward expansion? Well, I... No. Wait. The difference is, industry technology research speed and infrastructure construction speed versus military technology research... Infantry technology research speed and military factory construction speed... You get a civvy in the end, so it really doesn't matter. We're building up infrastructure anyway. Or civvies. Or we're not even building anything. We have nothing. Um, I guess we're building up anything. And we're perfection, I guess. The chosen land. Which is not bad. Now, we could choose nomadic lifestyle versus city life, which is not bad. But I might go with this one, because even though we lose 2% population, we still get plus 10 weekly map power, and this campaign is probably going to last a while. But Age of Strife. There are no longer peaceful times. The dark clouds of war gather on the horizon, and whatever part we are to play, whether aggressor or defender... We must prepare for the storm. And now I've also installed the fast justification war mod, so we don't have to wait here. It doesn't make any sense for why a raider nation would have to wait to a good war. Somewhat, but... Uh, we're pleasing the gods. The great war destroyed the old gods, but in a shadow new pantheon has arisen. For centuries our people <clears throat> have worshipped these deities, and for their loyalty we've been rewarded richly. Sol, the god of the sun, providing bountiful harvest and soft weather loyal worshippers. The phoenix, the purifying fire, cleansing all who are enshrined by its flame. Luna, the god of the moon, giving to its worshippers shrewd negotiation skills in alliance with the shadows. Terra, god of the earth, present, presenting deep war vein and plentiful food uh, to his followers. And Minx, the god of the mountain, growing unwavering strength and demanding frugal living off his devotees. Oh. Honestly, I might just go... What is power production? Is that like energy gain? Uh, I'll go with Mesa. Try it out first. Because I want to go to war with these guys. Ooh, what is that? Sacrifice of the gods, improve Mesa's opinion of us. Because the gods are in, uh, indifferent to us. We have holy autarky. Huh. Guess it's better get super good, though. And then the great climb. We lose 5 manpower and 75 political power. Okay. The worship of Mesa. We are in the midst of observing worship to Mesa and must wait before choosing a new deity. No. Well, we've already justified it. Let's go to war. They have Mormon tactics, which might be a little more difficult. Blessing of Terra. Alright, interesting. So we're going to try to encircle this guy down here. We'll see how that works out. Oh, they're attacking us too first immediately. Okay, then. Well, they had four divisions, which is not good. Interesting. Interesting. We have only five divisions, which kind of sucks for us, but whatever. Go, a go, and a go. Honestly, if they're all stuck here, you might just be able to do this. Depending on how long our divisions last. Uh, protect your people, which might not be bad. Raid defense bonus, ready for war. Uh, going alone, ambush strategies, asymmetrical. But we're going to go conventional for now. Uh, the Chosen Land. Our land is blessed with abundance and dangers. While it demands much, it gives generously in return. While the outside world may continuously move and change, we know that we are right where we belong. 
Oh, they sh pooped out another division. Well, that sucks. Um, yeah, that's going to really complicate things here for us, isn't it? Can you guys go, like, here, perhaps, and just do this? You might be able to, maybe. And then you hold, and then you got to do that. And, oh, well, okay, just go back then. There you go. Because we have two divisions being made. And we're going to use them right now. There you go. Ohm's Law. Very nice. Uh, grab that, too. Oh my god, do we need a research slot? Don't we? So these guys are surrounded. Cut these guys off completely. That should help out. At least a little bit. Don't let them move. And you're going to go down here. To there, to there. I can help us begin, like, trying to destroy these guys. We'll see what happens. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't work. Hey, we get major, major power. Look at that. Nice. Oh, come on. How can you just poop out divisions? AI does cheat, though, in this game. Four eight divisions in total. Oh, there you go. You do this. And then you go right there. Do this guys in place if we can. It doesn't go well, it doesn't go well. I might do some funky stuff off screen. But we're gonna go with the Matic Life, just kind of with extra ten weekly manpower, just because we might get that much overall with how long this campaign will be, but we'll see. To settle down is a miss out on life. All people understand this, and for as long as we have been a nation, we have refused to be chained by brick and mortar. A oh, life of travels well and well lived. Pantheon. Really proved the opinion of us. Uh, sanctifying the lamb. A sterile soil will harden this wasted world, our garden. Food for the hungry. If any one of us cannot eat, we all starve. While well, we may take a uh, sacrifice on behalf of those more fortunate, the sacrifice will be made for the good of our people. Stewards of the lamb. The world will disrespect the lamb, stripping and plundering her, and left her bleeding in the ashes of its own demise. The mistake cannot be repeated. Our land is sacred, and we must cherish everything she gives us. Work for the idol. Paradise not build idle hands. No matter our fortune or favors, there will always be work to be done. Our people must know this, and will be ready to work for the common good above their own needs. Fruits of labor. The diligent worker sows the seeds of plenty. Our hard work is paid off, and every labor our people undertake is ever more easier, knowing the great fruits it has borne. Inheriting the earth. Some will say we've inherited a cursed land, but we've found only blessings. The shattered wreckage of the old world, fit not even for veneration, can be given new purpose, were born to serve the new in the harmony with nature. Bountiful harvests. Our frugality has been blessed with abundance, and our generosity with generosity. Thus, it is our duty to share this bounty with all of our people, and new discoveries. We've been granted great knowledge. Of the world outside our world, but in the land of flesh and blood, we are still apprentices. May our insights into the spiritual guide our journey of the material, so that we may master both. So we're definitely struggling here. Um, it is what we call a struggle bus. And they're probably stronger than us, but, you know, it is what it is. But, uh, I might end up redoing this war. We'll see, you know. You never really know with how wars work in Old World Blues. Going alone. After much deliberation with the tribal council, it's been decided that the path of our nation will be one we walk alone. Without us outside interference from major powers, we should be able to run our nation as we please, ready for war. We're not ready to find die standing for our people, then we'll simply die on our knees. We must be at the forefront of our minds at all times, that every man and woman understands the trials that will soon follow. As we're still mobilizing more. Um, up next, which one are we going to do? Oh, we got this one. War or lifestyle. For, to live for war means to abandon many things once held precious to you, but it also requires that you live in accordance with its way. We must furnish our wars with all the necessary equipment and supplies needed to fight for our people. So, and we'll also research uh, some other goodies here, too. Now, oh, hello. Why are you not on the line? Oh, I should have double checked this before we started re recording again. But uh, these guys should have already been on the line. What the heck is going on? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, that's the case. Uh, you're staying there, son. I don't understand why the AI just goofs up so hard sometimes. It doesn't make any sense. That's alright. We'll fix it. They're just going to get themselves really exposed. Because we took all the dead horses. The red horse is, is dead. We have no manpower. But what else is new? You keep them in place. Yank down there to there. A circle destroy. They attack us. We keep them in place. You know, the good stuff. Um, they're attacking that division over there, which is not good. But whatever. There you go. Now they're encircled. Which is exactly the way we want it. And 45, not bad. Keep them in place for now. These guys will die eventually. 25 is good, so we can do this. Make it a little cheaper for us to edit our divisions just a little bit. And we'll go and sanctify the land, because we can. You can try that real quick. 45, yeah, that's good. Um, let's see. Hello. Why don't you uh, see there? Because you're still learning. You're becoming Desert Fox, the Hills Fighter of all things, and we have a lot of political power, which is pretty nice overall. What do we have here? Dance of the Ritual. 
Oh, experience soldiers' losses would be pretty good for us. Let's go with that real quick. And I'm going to wait here. Yeah, we could do a recap for the army, but you do get it eventually. Um, somewhere down here. Improvement. Neutrality, maybe, but probably not, in all honesty, because we're already attacking as many people as we possibly can. Oh, every cap for the army. You already get it down here. You get more political power, too, so. Um, let's say that for that. We'll attempt to beeline to go down that way, but we're going to go and yeah, grab that one, too. For more political power, because, my God, we're going to need it. I'm just going to hang out and have fun. And hold on. You cannot stop. You literally cannot stop. All right, so they're, they're pooping out more divisions. Oh, the tribe member. It's been revealed that one of the people had committed the grievous sin of wealth. Well, they tried to hide it well. Their home was filled with gaudy baubles and disgusting non-essentials. They fell through it in profanity to the austerity of a great mountain. There's no question that these possessions must be dealt with, but how should we dispose of these riches? Give the wealth to the people? Greatly improves opinion? Uh, sure. Is the opinion any good? It's pleased. Okay. They are fickle in their desire, but deadly in their wrath. We must stay on Mace's good side at all costs. So... Okay, well, at least that's nice. Um, in the meantime, we're going to actually increase the size of these guys. Give them a little more weight, a little more power. Like, this is taking forever. Oh, my God. Like, can you please just, like, hurry up and kill off a division or something? Because now these guys are going to move out, which is bad for us. So I'll have to go back to the drawing table to make sure that we can still do okay. Um, which kind of sucks, in all honesty. So we're going to do a lot of these focuses over here. Maybe do uh, the Pantheon? Faith's last bastion is held in the mountains and deserts of the Slam, where the outside world is solution by apocalypse and death. <clears throat> As by abandoned belief, we have cherished it. Um, from the air we breathe to the soil we walk over to this land is home to the gods, we merely walk uh, walk amongst them and strengthen our tra tradition. Oh, yeah. We find our greatest strength in our traditions, those that have seen us through our ever since our first settlement in these lands. And these trying times will find the same strength and sticking to them. And here we are, still fighting good old Eagle Rock, and, uh, well, we're doing alright. Not fantastic, but we're doing alright. We lost about a, roughly a thousand versus 2400. And we're currently doing the Pantheon, so we can get through these focuses a little faster, especially with the different gods. Faith's last bastion is held in the mountains and deserts of this land, where the outside world, disillusioned by apocalypse and death, has abandoned belief. We have cherished it. From the air we breathe to the soil we to walk over, the this land is home to the gods. We merely walk amongst them, like we earlier. So, guarding the holy sites. May says old. And age weighs heavily upon it. <clears throat> As years go by, and the faithful continue the pilgrimages, uh, pebble by pebble, the mountain crumbles. While it will soon be an unpopular move amongst the people, for both the good of the mountain, of course, we need to consider restricting access to, from the unworthy. All faithful should have access. Well, I don't want to lose anything like that. I don't want to lose anything at all. So, we're going to go with this one next and uh, keep going on. Special forces, yes please, as we're continuing to defend as they love attacking us for some reason, but we'll go with Mesa. There's no truth that can be found easily. No understanding without sacrifice. In the hidden caverns and holy rises, their people were granted sanctuary from the apocalypse and so cast their lives to their service. Holy Mountain. The mountain is our teacher and its lessons dear. The world of these the world of those who shun the shadow of the mountain is a false path filled with meaningless abundance and perverse pleasures. Only through dedicating ourselves to the solemn teaching of the mountain uh, can we withstand with such temptations. But we're already benevolent, so it doesn't really matter too much. Um, we're going to keep doing a lot of the... We get, we get four political power every day. This gives us a crap ton of political power, so... I really don't want to change it up, because it's so, so juicy. And we love it juicy. Um, so there's that. Uh, let's see. Rejecting their gifts. The first step of independence from these ever-gazing hawks is to step away from the promises of power and luxurious gifts. These things are ring hollow and knocked against and only indebt us to those oppressors. Expel the outsiders. Allowing outsiders into our lands possesses an uncountable number of threats to both our people and our home. It's high time we cast them out to the wretched wasteland from whence they came. Tribal equality. The path of a mother or housewife is not a path fit for every woman, as dreadful hordes blot out the horizon and every able body of Domo stand in her defense. It's also worth noting that having lots of experienced cooks and gathers in the army has its perks when supply caravans can reach the front. Well, to do the gods. To abandon the loving embrace of, the, of our faith is high, nigh unthinkable in times such as these. By holding a more regular ceremonies and giving gifts to our God, we can reinforce both our loyalty and our chosen's favor. But with a tech tree here, we're going to continue trying to get this one so we can get cheap recording costs, which we love, love, love. And you guys do that anyways. We'll be fine, hopefully, in the end. Probably. No guarantee, of course. But, uh... <clears throat> Impending apocalypse. Our time may be limited. As time goes on, we face another apocalypse, either from the hostile tribes, the trying cause, or the evangelizing zealots from Canaan. It's time we rally the troops. 
a precious tools, a spanner, the spear, the sword, and the soldier. The way of the world is locked, but with the right tools we may unlock it. Ancient science. Energy can be harnessed, power can be trapped, the very spirit of the air we breathe can be channeled via ancient science to achieve modern miracles. Metal men. To clothe oneself in earth, ancient garments of the old world, that would make a man immortal to all but heaven itself, this is our greatest act of devotion. Where eagles dare. We lay claim to the skies we do the land, respect, cherish, and protect it. To commune with air and, fe and fellowship with eagles, this is our purpose in the sky, protecting our people. There's no sense of sending your people to die. On foreign lands, let us instead fight the, let the fight come to us. Let the blood of the fallen foe act as consecration for our bulwarks. They still just love trying to wail against us. Also, we have this here too, the sickness of suit. A disgusting sickness, a sickness spread through our lands, both boils and patches of suit tone plague growing across some of our finest warriors, our medicine men. Think they can cure this and heal their ailment. ailment. But it'll take time. Further medical research or resistance may, be, may speed our recovery, so... Cover recovery rate 175% because we included the followers of the apocalypse. And we still have a lot of time left, though, unfortunately. Ah, oh, sure, New Canaan. Why not? <clears throat> Some of our guys are veterans, which is not bad, but support equipment is not looking good. Actually, it's looking okay. We could probably throw on some recon, perhaps? Because we did research that, just in case. And that actually gives us a little bit... More of an edge, and we've got more recon. But we can't do this level of support equipment because we don't have intermediate support equipment. Just kind of limiting us quite a bit, so. Let um, me read this, please go right ahead. Head. That's fine, we've got plenty of PP for this one. Oh! That's not good. That's really, really, really not good, especially with this god awful war against these guys, which is taking forever. They have a little bit of manpower left. How long would they have until we go to, go to war with us? Oh, that's not good. 20 days! Really not quite ideal, I suppose, as we're still trying to fight these guys, but we'll see in the meantime, as we'll do ambush strategies. Even amongst the tribes of Utah, there's no such thing as f fair fight. We shall strike at the feet of the Golas that surround us and bring them crashing down to earth. Defense in depth. There's no such thing as overcautiousness. Let us build trenches upon trenches, walls upon walls, until our Jericho cannot be breached by any hand other than that of a god. Canyon science. Or a canyon scouts, really. <clears throat> the treacherous canyons of paradise are both a blessing and a curse, depending on which end of the river you're on. With that advanced warning, we can safely hurry and trap opposing forces of the very land they walk on rising up to smite them. Can you warfare? Um, gone are the days of pitched battle on open fields, and yet so too are the tenets of urban warfare long past us. The ground beneath our feet, the earth and walls on our sides, and the clear sky above us will teach us all there is to know about postmodern warfare and warrior lifestyle. Uh, did I this one earlier too? Yeah, I did that one earlier. And war bonds. War bands. One does not fight alone in the heat of battle. The brothers and sisters we fight alongside are as viable as any sword or bullet. Our words must begin to eat, sleep, and breathe in tandem together. And that one day we may fight just as well. But we're going to end the episode there. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when hopefully we don't go to war with Ouroboros. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.